hey, I know what this is. This is a drop storyline, a dab specialty. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 14, Episode 14. Admittedly, I was late, very late with this, in fact. Episode 15 has already aired. I have a good reason, though. My computer basically died, and I needed to build a new one. I'll maybe show a photo of it in the next video. But um, this is a new feat for Andrew Dabb, turning a clearly filler episode. Like Basically, the first almost 30 minutes of this episode was a filler episode. And then they turn the last 10 minutes of it into a story episode because he doesn't know once again how to finish any of his fucking storylines. It starts off compellingly enough with this metrosexual snake guy who's going around killing people and talking about fashion and whatnot. And his part was, hmm, admittedly, this guy was a bit OP as he kind of destroyed all four of the group, uh, Jack, Castiel, Sam, and Dean, and then he just gets his head cut off, real simpleton, but what the whole idea is is that it is the catalyst to him getting smashed his head on the wall, which is no different from what the brothers usually get, they usually get a concussion every episode, that smacking on the wall is what lets Michael out of the cage inside Dean's head. All the while, I should mention this too, all those people from the alternative universe that Dab continues to forget that he introduced into this fucking world because he constantly just doesn't write them in. Like, they disappeared. Like, remember season 12? or was it? Season 13's finale. Just that stupid bullshit. Anyways, he decided to get rid of that story problem because he doesn't know what to do with it. So, Michael gets out, convinces Rowena to let him take control so she won't well that he won't kill sam dean and which is obvious that he would do that because she even wrote him into a corner saying that i'm not gonna die sam's the one who's gonna kill me so i don't know again and then he just kills off all of the alternate universe people i i hope he's killed them all off but again this is just dab covering up his fucking awful writing because then you know what he does jack kills michael Admittedly, it was kind of cool to see Jack fully become the power entity that he was. And now they might have something interesting for Jack to do because Jack's been basically useless this entire season. But I do love the irony, though, that Castiel was talking to Jack beforehand about when these people die, we let them go, but we hang on to their memory. It's like, Dab, are you even reading what you're fucking writing, you goddamn loser? This is the exact opposite of what Supernatural is. This is the exact opposite of what you've made Supernatural. And you're trying to write this high and mighty morality piece about death and accepting the end. And you fucking clearly can't. Then Michael is killed in a filler episode. I'm going to call it a filler episode because more than 75% of this episode was basically a filler episode holy shit like wow this is a whole new fucking stretch for this fucking loser so the episode's not that great it's okay ish if you were to just focus on the metrosexual snake guy it's an okay filler episode there's actually some decent camera work in this like when dean gets his head smashed against the wall god forbid the director of photography actually tried to do something differently and then the other half of it is it's tar it's terribly choppy it's terribly forced in but seeing jack become a cool dude is interesting but all in all this is a fucking awful episode this is horrible writing you already had a kind of a lackluster return of john winchester just basically repeating the scene five times in a row but now you come back with this like we notice also how the boys don't mention anything about the fact that they just saw their father after the first time in four, 13 years. This guy just, sorry, 12, no, 12, 11, 12 years. But this, honestly, it, I really hope that Andrew Dabb is not going to be the showrunner for the next season. I know he probably is, but then this show's fucked. This episode gets a 2 out of 7. It's fucking awful. Fuck you, Andrew Dabb. <laughs> Anyways, guys, sorry for the delay. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, 
subscribe and also tell me how much you guys like Andrew Dabb or don't like him. I'm very interested to see what you guys think of what he's been doing with the show. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <laughs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <laughs> hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.